You look nervous. You look uneasy. Oh, I am a bit. Yeah, it's not normal, is it? What? What is it? You're asking me how my day is, and a room full of people who I don't know. Yeah. Well, you're going to get to know them. You're going to get to know them really well. What? Everywhere I go, these lot are coming, are they? Yeah. Well, they've got to. They've got to film it. Otherwise, you'd be by yourself, and we wouldn't see it on the telly. Right, Carl. I'm very jealous of your trip here, Carl, to the mighty Great Wall of China. Well, you say that, but how come I'm going and you're not doing any? Well, because, um, we're executive producers. Yeah, we're busy, we've got other stuff going on. Mm. See, out of all the places, this is the place that I'm worried about the most. Why? Just the way they live, the different... What, Chinese people? They just wreck everything. They, they make everything weird. That's what I'm worried about. To you, to you, to you. Everything, chicken. Why is it orange in Chinatown? <laughs> <laughs> just the slightest thing, the chicken is orange. They eat anything. You know what I mean? Octopus. Toad. <laughs> he just made that one up! No, say, say if I go over there, I have a bit of toad. I go, do you know what? It's quite nice, that. It's nicer than chicken. Yeah. It's going to be pretty tough to get a bit of grilled toad yeah. in this country. It could make me sort of wish for stuff that I can no longer get hold of. Have you been listening to what he's been saying there? Yeah. That he's scared to go to China in case he gets a taste for toad. toad. And then he, 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 he can't, can't get, get toad. toad. So I just wanted to check that you heard that. Yeah. The way they write, the, the letters are weird. Their alphabet's not like ours. Theirs are like, like someone testing out a biro. Everything's... <laughs> there's, there's no logic to anything that they do. There is. There is. Listen, of course there's a logic to it. The way they read a book, it's all the other way around. From back to front instead of from front to back and up and down. And everything that we've done, they've gone, right, we're going to do it weirder. <laughs> That's how it comes across. Well, some would say that they did it first. Their civilization beat ours by, by many, many hundreds of years, but anyway. Right, off you go. All right, doesn't seem to work when you smile at people. Nothing, nothing, blank. So I don't know if smiling means smiling here. I mean, if they don't understand my language and they don't understand my expressions, I don't know what I've got to communicate with. All right, nothing, nothing, I've got nothing then. I don't think I've ever felt this lost, even in Wales. Massage? Hi. I'm never going to get to where I'm going. I haven't been to bed yet. It is nice, though, to be fair. That isn't, that isn't good. Mm. Oh. <laughs> 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 you know, I mean, what was that a massage? I don't know. Or was I just being mugged? <laughs> <laughs> Quite like this touch. Suzanne wants a fish, so I'll have to let her know that I've got a couple. I mean, that is for sort of company, isn't it? It's not, a, it's not some sort of appetizer, that, is it? That's handy. You know, I said that Chinese always come up with inventions. They're quite futuristic with their ideas. It's all right, isn't it? Little radio with headlights. I don't know when you'd need that. I mean, the whole beauty of radio is, you know, you can listen to it in the dark. I mean, if that was on the Dragon's Den, you'd, you'd say, I'm out, wouldn't you? Carl. Car. 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 Carl. Yeah. L. Carl. 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 Not Carla, uh. just Carl. Carl. Oh, Carl, Carl. Yeah. Carl. 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 No. Uh. No, no. Uh. No. Carl. No. Mm. Carl. Carl. You don't need to add... Like this, your country, the Shashbia. Shashbia, you know? Shashbia. Shashbia. Yeah. Chinese Shashbia. Shakespeare. Shashbia. Shashbia. It's just breaking it up a little bit. Carl. I'm Carl. Carl. It's not Carl, it's Carl. Yeah, it smells more Chinese now, doesn't it? Sort of sweet and sour. Good, isn't it? Is that dead? Yeah, that's dead, isn't it? Are they dead? Are they toads? So I don't get it. Are they alive in that bag? Yeah. Why aren't they legging it? He's got like a Sainsbury's bag full of toads. He rips them out, cuts their head off, sticks them in another bin bag. I don't even know what that is. I mean, it looks like a load of condoms in jam and water or something. I mean, it's weird how he's got it sat there as if that's meant to tempt you in. I didn't know it'd be like this. I didn't think it'd be this mental, really, in the food department. 
There's a woman over there just tucking in on a bunch of scorpions. Look at her, like she's just having like a bit of a chicken leg. Not a problem, just, just shoving them in the face. She looks at it before she puts it in her mouth, like, oh yeah, which bit will I have first? The head or the arse? I mean, as she's eating one off one stick, she's looking at the other stick. She can't get enough of them. Her eyes, it's like the donuts to her. She's looking at them, she's going, oh, look at that one there, that one looks nice. You see, I don't know where it stops. Where's the line between food and insect? If she gets up in the morning, there's a spider in the bath. What does she do? Oh, good, I'll leave the croissant for tomorrow. I'll eat that now. What's he eating? Oh, God. What sort of egg is that? So it's a fetus. Inside an egg. A fetus? I don't know why, any. Just for people watching who don't know, he's with us, you know, helping drive the bus and what have you. He seems like a normal bloke. I mean, eating a fetus. Not even waiting for the thing to be born and to live a bit and then eat it. I mean, a fetus. Only been here for a bit. I'm running out of these. I've got three more packets left. Hello, Carl, mate. It's Stephen here. Um, listen, I've uh, got a little treat arranged for you today. I know that you're fascinated by the strange, the weird, the esoteric, and obviously one of the big parts of Chinese culture is fortune telling. Um, so we've arranged for you to go and see a fortune teller, get some predictions about your future, my friend. All right, enjoy. Do people really believe that here? I mean, are, are people taking kids in and saying to him, right, here's my kid, what's his future going to be like? Because if his life is going to be a load of shite anyway, end it, do him a favour. But then it doesn't always work like that, that's what I mean with fate. I didn't do that well at school, I left with a, an E in history. So say if my dad knew that, he'd go, right, get the brick, and that'd be the end of it. Whereas, look, I've done all right. I've got, I've got a job and paying my way in life. You have to pay attention to your health because you've got some sort of heart problem. Oh, here we go. What sort of heart problem? Something to do with your heart, blood vessel. It's weird, that, because my dad had a problem with his heart, and they say it runs in the family. So is it going to kill me, then? 90%. 90 percent? 90 percent? Brilliant. But maybe we can change it. Although you have some health problem, we're going to do a ceremony for you. But you do need to write a confession about what you did wrong. Something I did wrong. Something I did wrong in the past. Mm. Good one. You need to write three confessions on the three pieces of paper. All right. When I lived in the other flat, there was a fellow who used to live in it called Bruce, and he used to get his post, and I'd open it. It was his old flat. I kept getting posts for him years after he'd moved out. See, it's meant to be bad, that, isn't it? Carl Grimshaw, I put putty in his hair and he had to have his head shaved. That's a bit tight, wasn't it? And he had a funny shaped head, so it looked really bad. I'll put that down. Carl Grimshaw for, for put, putting putty in his hair. I'd worked at this bloke's shop called Bob. I was his best paper boy. So I'd collate all my papers, get them all, get them all ready, stick them in my bag. When he wasn't looking, I'd just sort of take a Mars bar, slip it up my sleeve, off I go. So every day, seven a week for about two years. A lot of Mars bars, I know that, that's why it's on air. It's always been playing on my mind, that, because I've since found out that shop doesn't make that much money from delivering papers. Have you seen this? Have you seen the things? There's no doors or anything. As soon as you open the door, you could just get a full view of someone. I mean, if it was here, it's more understandable, isn't it? Because you'd be sat here, and at least people come in, and you'd go, sort of go, I'm in this one. But it's a bit weird to just sort of wander in and... 
I mean, they've made this bit, why not just finish it off and put a door on it? They've done the hard bit. A couple of hinges and a door. And there's no toilet paper. What did they do here? Did they just pull up the pants and walk off? Is that, is that, is that what you do? I'm, I'm not here to say they should be using toilet paper, it's not right. If that's not what they do, that's not what they do. But it's just, I didn't know that. I didn't think China was going to be like this. I thought it was going to be more... Like I said, I thought it was where they'd made the iPod. I think I've got the wrong place, because this, this ain't a place where they need an iPod. Have a toilet roll first. I mean, it's weird, because whenever you buy stuff like that, toilet roll holders and stuff, it says, made in China. Why aren't they fucking using them, then? That's odd, isn't it? So he's got to leave the house and he's got to go, do I feel like one today? I might do, I've had a bit of a dicky belly, I best get my seat. Everyone who's is walking past knows he's going to have a shit at some point today. I wouldn't like that. Do you know like how when I go into a public toilet, you like to nip in with a coin and open the door? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, well, you couldn't do that here, because there's, there's no doors on the toilets. They were filming some stuff, like, on this street, just with, like, traffic and stuff. I said, I'm just nipping in here. Walked in, was greeted by two fellas squatting. <laughs> there were chefs from the place on the corner, so that's, that's reassuring. Oh, no. Honest to God, one of them was on the phone taking an order. It was, it was really... <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I don't think I could ever get used to that. You need to have your own space when doing that, and they're just there. One's on the phone, the other one's just sort of looking round. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I don't know what people are watching Sky are going to do with the information. Chinese people have a shit with no door while taking an order for food. Well, he looked like he was sort of saying, I'll have it ready in, like, about five minutes. Oh, no, give me ten. Like, he, he yeah, forgot well, I'm, never, I'm never going to order a number two, I'll tell you that. Or, or a King Poo chicken. <laughs> Yeah, the fellow behind me is coughing his guts up. I thought I was putting on a waterproof coat in case it rained. I need it just for on this bus. Why did they do that? Here's the wall. <laughs> I can't see it now anyway, so it'll be a surprise for me. How long does it take to get there? The driver's getting involved, chucking it food, because he's, he's not into apple, is he? I've seen what he likes eating. If that was some sort of squid with a tumour on its head, he'd be tucking into it. He's not into fruit. To be honest, I fancy getting in there and getting a mouthful. It's the first normal food I've seen since I've been here. This isn't the Great Wall, is it? You're kidding me. I mean, I like the way there's no tourists and that. But then why would they be? This is the original wall, isn't it? Or is it? I, d I don't know, is it just badly done? This is pretty shit, isn't it? You're meant to be able to see it from the moon, aren't you, the Great Wall? Would you want to? Neil Armstrong getting his binoculars out. Oh, you know, have you seen it from up here, Buzz? Jesus. Got some food for me. It's nice, but it's just a bit awkward if it's something I don't like, isn't it? Because I can't... You know, you can have... You can use your hands to say certain things, but what can you do if it's something I don't like? I can't sort of make a lie up. What is that? What is that? Right, forget it. Forget it. It's fucking hell, they're massive toads. Yeah, it's toads in a carrier bag. Oh, I looked at the wrong time. I didn't really want to look, but when I turned around, it looked like she was having a wrestle with one. And I heard, like, doof, doof. So I'm guessing the toad wasn't winning. Why did she have to cave its head in out here? Why couldn't she just do it inside somewhere and then I'd eat it? Tell me after. All right, yeah, I'll look in a minute. Why didn't you say to him, no? Is it all right if I bring Carl round? Cook him something? Yeah, yeah, of course you can, yeah. What does he like to eat? Does he like toad? Just you, Surely, I mean, I know you don't know me that well, but you know me enough that I've, I've never said to you, do you know what, I'd love a bit of toad. I've never said that to you. You could have just nipped it in the bud there and then gone, ah, oh, he's not a fan of that. He's not... He doesn't like it. It's, it's, it's like a murder scene, look. Toad's... Bit of toad's head there. Oh, look at this. Mmm, nice. Mm. Lots of that. 
，你先得尝这个。嗯，那我我粉我粉。嗯，尝尝这个。啊，就是。啊，就吃完了。啊，你吃吃吧，尝尝。坐着，坐着，你得吃尝尝。就得尝尝。I think the baby's choking. Come on. Eating toad was weird. You didn't eat toad. I had a little bit of toad. 好吃吗 ？Like chicken. 那这个。Just chicken. This woman was forcing it to me. She was saying, "Oh, eat it, eat it." Oh, not fun. Every time I swallowed it, it was coming back up. It was like it was still alive, and the legs were still kicking itself out of my head. Right, no more. Maybe you can help me sanding the coffin. I mean, my flat isn't big enough to have something like this hanging around. I haven't got any outside space. So I'd have to have a parking permit for this. So I couldn't, I couldn't be doing this at home. But there's something good about it, because as you get older, you know, she's in her 60s. It's a nice little project, isn't it? She's got an allotment. This is probably sorted out. She doesn't have to worry about that. The house is probably paid for. And you need something to do to keep you going. If you haven't got any little projects, that's when you die. So in a way, it's just something that when she goes to bed at night, she's got a little to-do list in her head. Oh, coffee needs to be varnished. I'll have to sort that out. Because there's not that much else around here, is there, to keep your mind busy? Look at this. He's gone off now. He's having his lunch. He left me here doing this. Hello, car mate. Stephen here. I uh, just want to leave you a quick message. We've sorted something out for you. Um, one of the great elements of Chinese culture. Very popular, of course, in the UK in the 70s. We've arranged for you to see some Kung Fu, my friend, Kung Fu, yeah? Enjoy it. Yeah, this is the metal. All right. And uh, they were going to put another throat. Even I use my finger, just have a little touch. All right. Yeah, just tell me. You don't have to do that, yeah. And you will have a very big truck on yeah, the body. That's got to hurt though, hasn't it? So I'll see you outside hotel about sort of half four, quarter to five. Four a.m. Okay. Four in the morning. Are you having a laugh? All right. Oh. Hey. Where did he eat it? He ate it there, didn't he? No. Oh. Um. No. Nice start to the day. Moon's still out. Yeah. The thing is, I don't know what power I've got. That's the thing. If I start wrestling with him, I don't know how strong I am. I might do some damage. By accident. Because I don't go about punching people and stuff, so I don't know how hard I can hit. I might, I might really hurt him. Say if I'm just a proper mugger. Yeah, at the I'm bit, walking right. down the street, right? Mm. I look at you. I I'm think he's going got this way, yes. Yeah, hang on. You'll stop right, hang me. Hang on a minute. Yeah, yeah, just get back a bit. So, so I, I'm walking down the street, and mm. I think this fella looks like he's, he's got a few quid. Mm. And I'd go, I'd go, I'd go. Excuse me, you haven't got the time on you, have you? Listen, give us your money. Oh. Ah, all right, mm. give us your money. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. What the what happened? Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I got it the first time. Come on, come on. He doesn't know what my elf is. At no point since I've been here has he gone, no, Carl, you know, it's a serious issue. Have you got any health problems? No. He's always pushing a little bit more. He loves giving pain out. He's not a Buddhist, is he? He's a lunatic. OK, Carl, I'll give you a challenge. What sort of challenge? What's the other challenge? This glass balloon. I'm going to throw the needle from this way to get this balloon. You're going to throw a needle through the glass? Yes. Hit the balloon? Yes. Hole in glass? Yes. 
So you can. Hey, hang on a minute. Right. One. Two. No way. Jesus. I'm impressed with that. You want to have a try? Here we go. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. <laughs> Kung Fu, I know that much. That shouldn't hurt, should it? Just having a cup of tea. With all these aches and pains and that, you know, Ricky and Steve have sorted me out with a Chinese massage, which isn't like them, that. Get the socks off. That's how it starts, isn't it? You are having a laugh. Come on, now. Is that normal? Yeah. Yeah. Stay back here. Boy. Right, that's that's hot now. That's mental. Right, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> Fucking hell. What is she doing? What is she doing? I've seen massages on the telly. You don't normally have to have a fire extinguisher on standby when you're having a fucking massage. <sighs> what is this doing? Traditional Chinese massage. But what? Why? Tell me why though. Why is this traditional Chinese massage? I think it relaxes. No, muscles. it doesn't relax me, so what does it do? What, why is she setting fire to me? What good is it doing me? Don't just stand there saying it's traditional. It's traditional, it's what they do here, it's a delicacy. What is she doing? When have gloves on fire ever been associated with having a massage? Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it. I might as well have walked in there <sighs> Ah! and been greeted by Edward Scissorhands. <clears throat> right, I felt that. Put it out. Put it out, please. It's not a good sort of combination, that, really. Having something done like that with a woman who can't understand me. This leg's fine, tell her. This leg is, is great. I just want this one doing, then we can go. <laughs> ah, that's hot now. Maybe she's just a, a frustrated magician or something. Ah! Couldn't get a gig doing magic. Ends up doing back rubs and she's come up with an idea with having gloves that are on fire. I'd scream my head off, didn't I? Because it was... And I'm not messing either for the cameras, because I don't really do that. It really hurt. <laughs> what was that bleeping sound? Fire alarm? Well, that's where it ends, isn't it? I mean, I haven't got another message from Steve saying, right, get your snorkel out. You still haven't seen it all. And this definitely isn't new, is it? They've still got Andy Andy working on it, the sounds of things. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a wonder of the world. Just this bit. I liked it up on the hills where nobody was, but you've got a fella down there selling hot dogs. They've built a bit of a conservatory on it over there. Bloke flogging photographs. And them lot banging. It's non-stop. I don't get it though, how come? I mean, that's, this isn't protecting anything, is it? Because if the enemy was coming down there, come across there, buy hot dog, and then they want to get over it, Oh my God, take your shoes and socks off. It's not even that deep there. You can just wander around it. So what is it protecting? There's an old Chinese proverb by this Mao fella that says, a toad in a well only gets to see some of the sky. And if the toad came up, he'd see more of the world. Which, you know, is a bit like me in a way. I've, I've seen more of the world just from doing this. I don't know if it's made me a better person or not, but he's saying it is. He's saying if you get out of the well and see the bigger picture, it's good for you, but I'd say it isn't. And the thing is, it's not even worth getting out and seeing more sky here because of all the pollution. And definitely if you're a toad, I won't get out of any hole there because they'll grab you and cut your head off and eat you. <laughs> <laughs> 